What troubles you? Their skin makes good boots. Their spit makes painful death. Unclean. Do not eat of the trees surrounding the Chamber of Sins. Do not drink of the water, and do not rest. The beasts there look weak, born badly. They are faster, stronger than they seem. Travel far. The High Templar's blackguards? They're here, rubbing shoulders with us mere exiles? A mystery indeed. And so near the Chamber of Sins. Whatever they want with that foul place, it won't be for the betterment of humanity. Could be the nasty piece of work Silk picked up near the Chamber of Sins. Looks too much like Maligaro's dark science to me. If you can talk Silk into giving it to you, do history a favor and sink that spike to the bottom of the river. The Chamber of Sins? Apparently, the late Archbishop Joffrey of Frisia gave it that title. It was built by Emperor Cetus for one Inquisitor Maragaro. How do I know this? Well, to my shame, I did Dominus's dirty work and the selfish hopes of scholarly advancement. I scoured fragments of documents brought back by Fairgraves and Doresso before his disgrace. I unearthed all I could on the Eternal Empire's masters and mistresses of Thaumaturgy, a subject of keen interest to our supposedly devout High Templar. If I were you, I'd avoid Malagaro's old laboratory. A place of illness infected by a diseased mind. The end of learning is the beginning. Viper eats monkey, monkey eats viper. The forest is hurt, confused. It fights with itself. There is no peace for us in this war. Greetings. The pass to the sea is open. You are a legend that lives, exile. We should catch one, a blackguard. Make him tell us what he is doing here. Then hang his head on a tree. Tell the blackguards that the Asmerian exiles fight together. You and me we will make them run back to the sea. Hello. Make it fast. At the risk of sounding maudlin, life has held only disappointment for me. But death, well, we seem to understand each other. And so death is the patron of my art. I have learned much from her in the grave and quiet lands. The crafting of wand and dagger, stave and focus. Tools of nightmare that I will strive to perfect with time and experience, and that I'm willing to share with you for a price. Seek me in the wild lands, exile. The darkness is coming, and we of like mind need to prepare. Given time and suitable conditions, the dead walk of their own volition in Reglast. Why? The cataclysm remains. In soil and stone, water and air. Look closely, and you will see its dark hues, its corrupted radiance. Yet the seeing is the difficult part. It's why we look through the gems. Our petty living eyes are blind, yet these eternal stones, they will show us everything. Alrion is obsessed with a dream of life after death. The afterlife isn't a dream. It's just like life. You work with it as best you can. The Karui molly coddle their dead as a precious mother fusses over her children. Haku is no different.
Lyra sent you, but you strike me as someone who craves a higher purpose than that. Something worthy. Something like peace. Every day, my brethren and I battle and die with Creighton's rats of the bridge and Alira's thralls of the old road. To spare the lives of many, you need take only two. But if peace isn't reward enough for you, bring me the amulets that hang around Creighton and Alira's worthless necks. When joined with mine, those trinkets will forge us a new strength, you and I. The strength to bring about peace. Time for avaricious little despots like you, Oak. you on this fine day, Exile. Today's a fine day to kick corruption's filthy ass, right, Crusader? Sadly, this holy site has fallen to the corrupted already. It's our duty to put the poor, bastard place out of its misery. The Corrupted draw strength from twisted spots like this, you see. Can't be having that now. So lay about you, Exile, and quickly now. Lest Nightmare sense our cause and choose to tighten its grip on this place. It's us or them, Crusader. Us or them.
Hello. We, the Court of Reckoning, find you, Doedri Stamatis, guilty of the following transgressions against God. Perversion of God's creation. Promotion of heretical beliefs. Unlawful enslavement of eternal citizens. Torture of the innocent. Murder of the servants of purity. For these most severe crimes, I do sentence Doedri Darktongue to burn at the stake till naught is left but ash. May her life serve as penance for the lives she has taken, and let purity sweep away the dust of her deeds from our firmament. High Templar Vol, Commander of the Army of Purity.
You felled an oak. I knew you had mana to spare. But a journey half traveled is a journey wasted. Put an end to that filthy rat in the east and bring me his amulet. Then we'll talk. Intimately. Intimately. <laughs> 